People in Rothbury were dealt a further blow tonight as the village lost electricity. Following 36 hours without gas, villagers were left completely in the dark when their over-reliance on electricity caused the local power supply to shut down at around 6pm. Earlier today, we had asked people in Rothbury how they were coping without gas. Very cold. Because they've, all, they've given us this little uh, heater, but it's, it doesn't do much in a big room like this, does it? The, the, the nights were worse because you, you know, everything's off when you go to bed. It's, it was very cold and miserable. How, how um, do you think people in Rothbury are responding to the, the lack of gas? Oh, I think they're all, they're all coping because, uh, I say, it's a small village and I think there's, there will be a lot of people with uh, probably cold fires even yet. But, um, you know, they'll be helping each other. Right. If you've got a cold fire, you're fine. Okay. So you just hope the gas comes on as soon as possible? Yes. Yes. Okay. It should be on by this evening, I think. Right. So how, how have you been affected then? Well, we've had no gas heating for two nights, two days. I mean, have you made use of the respite facilities? Or? Oh yes, mum's got a hot plate, she's been waiting, got a hot plate today to cook some food on, you know, if it doesn't go back on, say, tonight. And uh, we've been, we've got some um, heaters for the rooms, you know, so. So, I mean, uh, how do you think, kind of, Rothbury's reacting to the to this situation? I think situation? very well, you know, considering really, you know. Okay, so you just hope it's back on as soon as possible? I hope so, yes. Okay. They also asked Northern Gas Network spokesman Keith Newman how he thought people in Rothbury had coped. People of Rothbury have been really, really helpful in this particular uh, crisis. Um, what they've done is they've allowed us access to their village hall. Um, they've, they've put amenities on, such as food for our engineers, and um, they've really bent over backwards to help us, of which we're really, really appreciative. Um, you know, in situations like this, it's difficult enough for the people of Rothbury, never mind helping us with the, go about our normal jobs. So we do really appreciate the work that they've done.